the sawmill friends it's monday we got a lot going on today this is my third cup of coffee so i'm probably talking pretty fast i need to slow down here first thing we're going to do is run down to the post office pick up a very important package come back up to the mill we're going to be sawing some white pine two by fours and a black walnut log that you guys have never seen before this is a really interesting log guys i've never saw anything like this before i know i've said that on the channel many a times but this log is pretty unique it's the log from the last video so hang in there with me guys got a lot going on today stick around for that walnut log you'll be glad you did probably full of metal after i say that i'll hit nails on every cut so stick here with me anyway guys see what happens on it i don't think it's a yard tree we should be in good shape sawmill we're doing two by fours on this one it's a 12 footer there's a little bit of taper here on the operator side it's about 13 inches it flares out to about 15 inches down there so we'll have a little bit of taper in these first few cuts as we start working our way down to our can here we're doing full dimension two by fours that means actual size two by four and just to clarify here friends when i talk about sawing two by fours and dimensional lumber i am sawing two by fours that's why I say actual size two by fours. If you go to Lowe's, Home Depot, even most of your commercial lumber yards, and you buy dimensional lumber, it's gonna be nominal sizes, which is not what you're getting. A two by four at Lowe's is not two inches by four inches by no means, it's smaller. Here at this sawmill and most other sawmills like mine, when you order up a two by four, you're getting an actual size two by four. Granted, it is green, not kiln dried, but if you're building barns or workshops and stuff like that, you can hang it up green, it will dry in place and you'll be just fine. Now, don't do stuff for houses and stuff like that. You'd have to have a grade stamp on it and a, and a certified kiln drying method as well. And I'm really not gonna ever go down that route because I'm not set up for any kind of processes like that. And I also can't compete with the big pot stores as far as what they're offering with their quantities. And I don't wanna mill up a bunch of two by fours for a whole entire house, that would take me forever. And I'm talking really fast because I had way too much coffee this morning. So look over that as well. And one more thing here, guys. I've went over this a bunch of times, but I keep on getting this question down in the comments. And it must be from new subscribers, but that's okay because that shows the channel's growing and that's what we want here. These right here are the wind chimes. My buddy Brian Harrington down in Texas named these the wind chimes when we installed them about a year ago. And what they do is they guide the board back as I pull it back here on the return system. Without the wind chimes, the board is not going to be guided from left to right. It just gets pulled straight back. These wind chimes go in one direction. They don't go sideways, so they keep that board in check so it lands back here on my table. Woodmizer should put this on every one of the sawmills that have the drag back feature, but I believe it's because of some kind of safety reason that they don't do that. But I'm pretty sure they could design it to be okay. I mean, I've never had no trouble here. It's not hit me yet. Famous last words that knocked me out today. Hang in there, guys. Let's get going. friends if you're out there in the sawmill world and you have trouble getting a square cat or square post or what have you this right here will help you out grab a framing square and put it on the sawmill bed 
and then lay it right against your timber and try to get yourself a nice right angle between the sawmill bed and your log. was a pretty good log right there guys got 15 2 by 4s out of it that's a good one right there had a few of some bark on the sides but not too bad so now we're going to jump in the tractor take the off cuts down to the burn pile then grab the walnut log and bring it up friends so i got a really good feeling about this one i think it's gonna be something special i wish it was my log but it's not my neighbor brought this over a few days ago and if i remember right it was cut down four years ago on a farm that he used to own over in virginia i think the power company might have took it down this log is six feet long my neighbor wants it cut into eight quarter slabs if you're new to this channel that's two inches on the thickness and I think we're going to see something really special here, guys, based on what I'm seeing here on the front. The butt cut or the bottom of the tree is facing away. This is the operator side. And what we have here is what some people call a double heart. And it's not really a true double heart because a true double heart, you will have two hearts in the tree at the very bottom. That's not the case here. But you do have two hearts right here at the top based on what I'm seeing. What happened was the tree came up and it branched out like a Y in two different directions each branch has its own pith therefore it looks like you have a double heart when you're looking right here on the end grain it's really just a single heart but we will capitalize off that double heart by capturing the nice crotch figure that will be hiding right there in the middle because when this tree split in two different directions guys that grain went crazy and you'll see that nice crotch figure hiding right underneath this bark right here we'll do some prospect cuts We'll cut off this top, but if I have it tilted just right, we'll see some nice crotch grain right there. Should be a really good log.
ready to go some yellow pine it's not yellow it's white it's white white pine my goodness and pick up a very important package so hang in there with me guys <clears throat> hang in there so hang in there hang on good lord going in an important package waiting on us at the post office let's go grab that and come up to Sometimes I don't know what I'm saying. Because we got a really important package down there waiting on us. Hang in there with me, guys. The dogs are drinking water now. Hang in there with me, guys. We're gonna have a good one today. Got hot coffee going. Mm. I sniffed it. I'm here sniffing stuff. Good coffee. Good Lord. Y'all think I'm crazy. <laughs> 